Yo, Defcon, what's up? Barf Boy here. We are, we have a good one going on today. A really good one. Okay, we've got uh, Brian here. He's the co-founder of Kindo, as well as the OG architect of Google Drive. Believe it or not, pretty crazy. We also have Miguel here. He is the founder of White Rabbit Neo, the only open source red team AI model. Uh, let's let him take it away and give us a little thoughts on what's going on here at Defcon this year. Double, first of all, thank you for having us. Of course. Um, yeah, White Rabbit Neo is a open source red teaming AI model. Um, it was built for so that, first of all, I could learn cybersecurity myself, and then it turned out to be a great AI, so we decided to open source it. Um, it's built for anything related to offensive cyber. And I think one of the things that we really believe in is that if you want to defend your networks, you should understand how to go on the offense too. So that was the start of White Rabbit Neo. Um, been around for about six months now and have gotten actually close to eight months. Uh, it's gotten a lot of traction with the community. Um, and in those eight months, six months, um, would would you say, is it also still evolving and, and it's learning as we go, right, from, yeah. from use? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. How We're many users do you have uh, using on the model right now and how is that contributing to the evolution of the model? Yeah, we've got over 100,000 downloads of the model itself and then we also have a free web app um, at whiterabbitneo.com and uh, people can use it for free. Uh, just go and get a, get a login. Uh, and we've got about 25,000 users. And uh, to touch on your point of continuously evolving the model, yeah, we're doing that. Um, we're now at version 2.0. Um, we've had many iterations, many versions along the way. Um, and Kindo is one of the biggest sponsors of the community. Well, thank you, Kindo. And we have Brian here to speak on behalf of Kindo a little bit and how um, they're sponsoring uh, White Rabbit Neo, correct? You want to yeah. show us yeah, a little bit about Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, yeah, so I mean, at Kindo, I mean, our, our focus is uh, AI security anyway. Like, that's our whole thrust of our company. So our founder, Ron, really, uh, you know, saw, found out about White Rabbit Neo, was super thrilled with, like, the idea and the concept and how it really just fits into our mission. We're really focused on open source in general. Like, we've contributed back to lots of different projects in the open source community. And this one was, like, spot on with what we're trying to do because we're trying to basically create the most secure way for enterprises to adopt AI and we looked at this we're like not only does it help with that mission but it also helps with these teams that are actually trying to secure even traditional systems leveraging AI um, so we got really excited about that and decided to you know we connected with Miguel and uh, decided to become a partnership and sponsor sponsor the model um, incorporated into the Kindle product as well so uh, and we're, we're even seeing a lot of just usage of it within our, you know, the Kindle product as well, because people can build really cool workflows, like scanning through logs, looking for suspicious activity, or they can use it to generate, you know, look for vulnerabilities, generate, you know, scripts that will, you know, execute a penetration test. So these are all things that are really powerful uh, for our customers to use, and so we're like really thrilled to just be a sponsor of this model. So I know the the model; it's only up from here, right? Because now it's it's learning as we go and all of that. What is the what were the startup costs? And, and if you don't want to answer, whatever. I'm just curious. What are the startup costs to create a model from the ground up and and get it running and then bring it out to the people open source? Yeah, uh, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Um, it took uh, it took about two months of uh, training time on GPUs, which are not cheap. It's about anywhere between five to 10K a week uh, cost to train the models. Um, and the larger ones now, which is uh, hitting about 400 billion parameters with, with like the Llama release, um, they cost about anywhere between 10 to 15K a week to train. So I'm really glad that Kindo came on board um, yes. because it was a kind of a, a self-funded side project um, that evolved into a big, um, big community. Uh, so I'm really, really glad that Kindle is sponsoring now um, all this, all the compute from now on. Absolutely. I mean, when when that amount of money is needed to, to build, I mean, you, you really do need that sponsor, and, and especially um, it, it, it sounds like once it starts growing, it's that that money still needs to keep flowing. Yeah. So yeah. especially to keep it open source. Yes. Yeah. What are, what are the benefits? I'm curious. I mean, we know the obvious benefits of keeping something open source, but you know, from a business perspective and 
obviously it needs to be a sustainable business to keep it running. What are the benefits on your end to keep something, uh, keep keep this model open source for the people? Um, obviously everybody at DEF CON loves that and uh, respects that. Um, on, on the other side of it, how do we keep a business like this sustainable and keep this model up and running for people? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it, it all comes down to credibility and gaining traction within the community as, a, as the open source red teaming model, uh, the leading model. It, it's even better than all the closed alternatives like OpenAI or Anthropic because they're, they're aligned for safety, which it just refuses questions when it comes to, <laughs> comes to attacking or, yeah. or red teaming. Um, so it's really about credibility and when, when that comes, then the enterprises want to have their own managed service, which is um, which is kind of what Kindo is providing. You know, so word on the street is that, uh, I, from what I heard, word on the street is you're number three on hugging face for non-censored models. Is that correct? I, I think it's yeah number five right now. Number but five, it's, it's a, close. It's the older model, so the new one uh, should is going to really should, kick should some ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, and this is a. Uh, that's actually outside of White Rabbit Neo. Um, that's my other model series. Uh, it's more general purpose. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, I, I think that's awesome. Um, let's see. What what else? So let's just real quick talk about the specifics of what White, White Rabbit Neo. I would you go and use this if I was on Red Hat, and I would go and I would go search. Uh, just give me a, a, some use cases or an examples. Yeah. I would search for. A, solutions on certain Red Hat activities? Yeah, so one of the perfect use cases is uh, one of the villages here, that's AICC. Um, it's, a, it's a sponsored by DARPA, um, and what they've done is they've selected five open source repos, and uh, competing teams should build a software that uses an AI uh, to scan all the open source repos, find vulnerabilities, and report back. Um, so, White Rabbit Neo is a perfect use case for it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't have the time to submit uh, as a team go into the competition, but we're You're hoping busy working. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You're busy working, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're next hoping year. to do it next year. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Another example. I mean, it's a few other examples. Um, you know, even just walking, you know, individuals here through capture the flag events. I mean, it's actually pretty cool. Like we have our team here you know, going to these events and a lot of them are not hackers or software engineers and they're like now armed with this really powerful hacking AI model, it can walk them through it. So it's like, here's the parameters of the CTF event. What should I, how should I approach this? Run these tools, paste the, the log, you know, the output back into White Rabbit Neo. It produces like, okay, yeah, here's, here's some of the anomalous activity. Here's where some of the vulnerabilities are. Here's how you can try to exploit them. Walking people through that. And it, so it's an incredible um, trainer, like a, a teaching mechanism uh, for those that don't have a ton of experience in it, um, but also just in terms of like efficiency and getting, you know, getting something done really quickly. So I think that that's pretty cool, like in the context of this DEF CON, because that's what we were, we were super excited to come here and use that to be like, all right, Let's let's actually make some real progress on the CTF uh, using Y Revenue. Absolutely, like some noob like me could come in and I could actually run some shit yeah. and not necessarily yeah. come in knowing a lot, but I could walk out learning a ton on the processes that needed to, to make something happen. Yeah, Which, yeah, that's that's incredible. And I think that leads me on to well, maybe my last question here, but you know. I, I, and we might be answering it as we talk right now, but essentially, how, you know, how is this changing the ever-evolving landscape of uh, um, security? And specifically, you know, how like if the something like this is available to everybody, which is obviously that. How um, how do you think this is going to change things in the next couple of years, specifically with red hats, blue hats, and um, security in general? I could take a crack, and you know, you should definitely answer as well. I mean, I think you know, back to your question about open source and why open source. I mean. You know, there is such a wealth of knowledge in communities like this that we want to be able to take advantage of. Um, you know, we can only go so far, you know, with his knowledge and, you know, running the models and keeping them up to date, like, by opening up to the community. First of all, we, we, we believe in just these things being open to the community, but to really, like, take advantage of the full mind share that you have in like events like this, it's incredible. So just, we're really excited about like where that could take it. That's part of the reason why we wanted to come here and get the word out about it so that like 
we could make it the best it could possibly be. And um, I'm sure there's much, much we can take it much further than it even is today um, with the community around it. But yeah, absolutely. Just, just to add to that, I, yep. I, I really believe in the power of the individual and definitely there are tools available to nation sponsored groups, um, hackers coming out of I don't want to name the countries, but there's a lot of countries that are actively exploiting systems. And I think by distributing really powerful AI to everyone, I think there's a chance of fighting back. Yes, that's that's absolutely right. It's uh, democratization, essentially, and, and obviously the antithesis to gatekeeping and opening up the, the gates to everybody. And in that case, if as long as we all take it ethically, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Then 100%, it, yes. yeah, it's a tool, it's Correct. a tool and you should be using it to the benefit of all of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Hack the fucking planet. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And um, well, anything else you want to share? Do you want to just throw out, uh, I, I know you have a Discord, or if you want to just throw that out to, yeah, to the people? If you, uh, if you go to Hugging Face there's a, and search White Rabbit Neo, you should get a, all the free models that are available. And in those models, there's links to Discord groups, um, and Twitter handles and uh, personal plug is my Twitter handle is Mig Tisera um, and yeah I would love to have people just uh, just follow and, and comment on on anything I do so I can learn from the community great Wanna give a plug? Yeah. I think that's, no, I think that's it we just really appreciate you guys hosting us here and Excited to be at DEF CON. Yeah, it's really fun. That's what it's all about. We're all here together. Let's uh, let's keep moving forward. We can't see, wait to see how everything keeps changing year to year to year to year. And can't wait to see you guys here next year and compete in yeah. the AICC. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That'd be super all right, fun. boys. Thanks Pleasure. so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right.